winners to come out. It's the women's 100 backstroke for the S11 classification. Again, maybe an unexpected victory. If you'd looked at the favourites this morning, probably wouldn't have been Marina Podobna in the gold medal position. She swam really, really well. Best time in the heat and the best time in the final to take that gold medal. Cecilia Camille, the European record holder in this event. And she is one of those athletes that we were saying about how the Italian team are going from strength to strength. And she's really one of the ones that first started to get the results and pioneered the uh, resurgence of this Italian squad that we're seeing at these championships and in recent years. She did a couple of silver medals in Beijing. It was the start of things for Cecilia Camellini. Daniela Schulte has been around since the mid-90s. Daniela Roller came back into the sport. Daniela Schulte, over the last few years, has racked up the medals again in this S11 class. And she sneaked that silver medal by 0.2 from Camellini, so uh, a very tight finish for them. As it always is, they are great rivals, those two. There's a new name to add to that list. Now all the rivals and the contenders for the main medals. That's Marina Podobna, and I don't think she can quite believe it that she has swum so well to win that gold medal in the 100 backstroke S11. And she must have been spurred on by the great performances of her teammates tonight. Yeah, it's been a brilliant night. And when you hear the national anthem of your country, you kind of want it to play for you. So she definitely delivered. It's been a great night for Ukraine, hasn't it? Absolutely, they've had lots to celebrate. And they're as enthusiastic about that gold medal as they were about the first. Yeah, keeping the support going right to the end. I'm going to have another one to celebrate in a few races time. In a few ceremonies time, should I say. We knew what you meant, Paul. That brilliant 20-point uh, relay to finish off.